First, we need to ensure that the computer and the HMI are connected to each other. We can use the ping command to check the connection. If you are not familiar with the ping command, you can refer to the previous lesson where it was covered. Proceed to ping the IP address 192.168.0.3. If there is a response time, it means that the computer and HMI are successfully connected. In the Start menu, search for the Cymatic Prosave software. This software will be automatically installed when we install the TIA Portal software. Select the HMI model you are using. Here, I am using the KTP700 BASIC. The default connection is Internet, and the IP address is the IP address of the HMI. Next, go to the Backup tab and select the path to save the backup file. I will save it in the Downloads folder. Click Start Backup to begin the backup process. When the software displays completed backup, it means that the backup was successful. Go back to the folder containing the backup file, and you will see the backup file has appeared there. You can rename the file to make it easier to restore later. To restore, you also need to connect the network cable to the HMI. Then, use the ping command to check the connection with the IP address of the HMI. The HMI IP address here is 192.168.0.3. If the result shows a response time, it means that the HMI and the computer are successfully connected. Open the Cymatic Prosave software. Select the HMI model. The IP address is the IP address of the HMI. Then, select the Restore tab. Locate the backup file you previously created. Click Start Restore to begin. Click Yes to start the restore process. Now, we just need to wait for the restore process to complete. After a successful restore, the software will display Succeeded. 